YouTube, what's going on? Back with another video. It's Kyle. OG Kyle. Well, hell no. Kyle. The and real Kyle. Kyle. Kyle and We're going to go through Kyle this all one. over again. Kyle number two. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, the second. Back with another video today. Uh, and today, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we're going over how we would start from somebody that's in college perspectives to somebody that didn't go to college perspective, how we would start over in 2024 going into 2025, what we would do starting from scratch. Um, so as y'all know, we do, before we even get into the first topic, as y'all know, we do have a WAP, which is kind of like the school platform that we use to help people that's looking to um, get help with certifications, get help with uh, the resume, resume templates, um, just getting help started in like I am cybersecurity, not even just I am anymore. We used to be just I am, but now we're more. We can do GRC, SOC, security operations, all the other, all the other stuff. Just getting into cybersecurity in general now, and that platform kind of gives like a, a good overview of everything that we offer um, and how to help you kind of you know get a job within three or five months in cybersecurity. Um, so that link should pop up anywhere here, and it'll be the first link in the description below as well so the first topic that we're going to start out today as you guys all know in these videos because i watch several of these I, every time i do a topic um on a video or before i like make the video i always do research on the videos and see other people what they bring up as well obviously just to kind of get like inspiration and i say the biggest thing that everybody always started out with first is obviously you know certifications um so i like I said in every video, certifications is king. Uh, so this is kind of like a little bit of a certification roadmap, uh, if you will, as well. So um, the first one I would say is obviously what he already knows what I'm about to say before anything. What's the first shirt you would start up? Security Plus. Yeah, Security Plus. If you get into it, Security so Plus. Um, I've seen a lot of people talk about the Google um, cybersecurity certifications as well. Um, but what are your thoughts? It just... Uh, it's like it can't hurt you right because you're still going to be learning like if you, as long as you have that learning mindset it can't really hurt you but as far as like the weight that it holds a lot of uh a lot of i guess what would you say it content creators mm -hmm. like they, they, they make it seem like it holds weight like you'll be able to land a role with it but realistically not really that's more so so you build that foundation of of cyber security i mean i'm not going to say it's a bad course it just doesn't if you're looking to rent or land roles mm -hmm. It's not going to be, you know, the golden standard. Realistically, the golden standard for getting started in cybersecurity is going to be Security Plus. So yeah, Security Plus. And some people, even before then, they like to have a good understanding of what networking is. So they'll go for that Network Plus or that uh, Cisco CCNA, which are, you know, ind good industry certifications to start out with as well. Our first cert, we had a competition years ago before we even got into, like, you know, like actually working in cybersecurity, we had like a race to see who who got Network Plus um, first. So just starting out with that, just getting those fundamentals done is very, very helpful. I've seen a lot of people add A plus in there. I'm not a big A plus fan. I wouldn't do um, A plus. I think if you really want to start it from like bottom, bottom, do Network Plus, then Security Plus and work your way up from there. But um, I think most people can handle themselves. Like I've seen almost, we have like a 200, 300 plus clients, and most of them have started out with Security Plus over anything. You know, we have a few outliers that go with Network Plus, but I don't think it really adds value like how you think it it would. Um, so therefore, I would say Security Plus. Now, depending on where you want to go in cybersecurity, so like obviously my I am route, y'all know what certs I talk about, but um, obviously we're going to have a lot of new people in this video. Um, getting vendor specific certs is the route you go. And I am because there's several different tools. So being certified in that specific tool, such as like CyberArk, Okta, Beyond Trust, Savient. The uh, really the appeal of getting vendor search is that it shows that you're you're specialized in something, right? So rather than like a jack of all trades, but there's there's nothing wrong with that. And a lot of professionals kind of do a little bit of everything. Um, but for example, right? If you're, I'm assuming a lot of you are looking to make or pass that threshold where you're making, you know what was it, uh, five figures a month, right? Um, and if you're planning on doing that with job stacking, it'll probably help you a lot more by specializing in one specific thing and landing roles in that one specific thing, you know, consistently, than, you know, just having like your general search and you're just kind of shooting your resume out to like just random types of roles. 
Number one, you won't really, you're going to have to figure out uh, what roles are like higher workload, lower workload. You might get into a role that's going to, that you're going to be like, like, damn, like I shouldn't have took this. Like, holy hell, I'm doing this, I'm doing this other other job, but then I have 10 meetings with this other company that I'm working with, this client that I have, right? So if you're looking at job stack, uh, getting vendor search and kind of specializing within a certain industry or a certain technology uh, will help you get towards those, uh, you know, the higher thresholds of, of salary. Yeah, and that's so, that's if you're trying to get, go into IM, then you would, you know. I am. Um, then you would need to get some vendor What other, like, threat analysts, um, uh, DevSecOps, like any industry has its own technologies, cloud, for example, as well. Um, but every industry has its own technologies that you could specialize in. Obviously me and, or, or Kyle at least, is more specialized in I am, I'd be more specialized in like the offensive security malware analysis side. Um, no, but yeah. What search know. would you say would be the best to get into that? In the like as well? malware analysis? Yeah. Really? There's not many certs. Gaiac, there's a, a a Gaiac malware analysis certification. That's like a five thousand dollar cert, though. Um, the best way to get in the the industry that I'm in is usually by self study. Uh, there's a lot of good books out there. Um, pretty much the malware bible would be Practical Malware Analysis. Um, that's a good book that you can get started with. But there's other certs like that relate to offensive security. You got the TCM mm -hmm. security certifications. You have OSCP, you have the offensive security uh, certifications. Um, but you're gonna be looking towards those specifically if you're trying to you know, get into that red teaming role where you're doing the hacking or whatever. Yeah, but exactly. What other fields w would you say they need to get a cert, like a specific cert to kind of to get to like job, hang to guarantee Guaranteed definitely that. if you're looking to get into like firewall administration you definitely have to get certified in whatever technology you plan on working with so cisco firewalls are going to be way different than uh palo alto firewalls is you know two completely different things um as far as threat analysis um then you're talking about uh like edrs you're getting you know familiar with endpoint detection and response systems so some examples of those would be uh crowdstrike is a big one Sentinel One is another one that's big, and they all each have their own like certification pathways that you'd you'd have to look into. But like, I guess the the idea here is right. You start out with that. If if we're building from the beginning, right, the roadmap or how I would start out, right, I would get my Security Plus, which is the general all encompassing cert. You get mile wide, inch deep knowledge of pretty much a whole bunch of topics in cybersecurity, and then you jump in towards those vendor slash uh, specialized certifications mm. so that you then become more, uh, I guess, attractive to the employers and the recruiters. They show that you're specialized in something and that, you know, if they need help with a specific technology, they know they can come to you. Um, and then from there, what, what would you say you do differently after you get those those vendor search or, or what did you do after you got those vendor search? Yeah. So me, after I got those vendor search, like so I did obviously Network Plus, like I said, that was my first ever cert. And then I did uh, CyberArk Trusty at the time. It's now discontinued or they just don't advertise it anymore. I don't know. Yeah. CyberArk, I guess they just took it away maybe like a year ago or two, maybe two years ago now but technically so i have network plus cyber Arc trustee that was like the first entry level because so with cyber arc which like a lot of these other different um vendor certs or specialized certs they typically have you go in order um so cyber arc had trustee uh cyber arc defender cyber arc century and then you could do like uh cyber arc Certi certified delivery engineer which is cyber arc cde and then like guardian or whatever um but you have to like go in order so i got mm -hmm. network plus trusty defender century and then now security plus mm. um but that's just that's the roadmap i went so <clears throat> and after you got those right like yeah. i think one thing that a lot of people fail to mention in their videos is the job acquisition yeah. right finding a job one thing I would have done differently personally, and I'm sure you would have done differently as well, is researching keywords like what to search. Because yeah, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. That people miss out on so yeah. much is nobody knows what the keyword search exactly. is. Like I said with IM, it is vendor specific. So mm -hmm. like like I was mentioning, Cyborg, Cell Point, you have to search up roles based on that actual tool that you, you know that is part of the PAM or IM space. 
Um, so I know that's different from a lot of these other positions. So if you're looking for roles, let's say you got a CyberArk certification, you need to be searching up CyberArk engineer, CyberArk analyst, CyberArk admin. Those are your roles that you can go ahead and, and start with yeah. and apply for. And we have in our WAP actually, this is something that a lot of our mentees like mentioned, like what do I search for? What, do, what am I supposed to be looking for? Exactly. Um, in our WAP, we actually have something called the Keyword Bible, which is pretty much providing you the keywords for a lot of different security uh, positions. So it'd be IM, whether it be a, uh, you know, general security engineer, um, what else, EDR or uh, threat analyst, uh, offensive security. So this is gonna be like a, a compilation of all the keywords that have worked for not only me and Kyle, but people outside of me and Kyle's specific domains, which would be like anything like threat analyst, GRC as well. Um, any types, you know, any, any of those roles that are outside of me and Kyle's domain, we also have keywords for those so um, that's like one thing that I definitely would have done differently, done a lot more research. And you guys could have access to that as well if you join the WAP right. um, or just do the research on your own. Yeah, um, you kind of have to figure, you kind of have to do research first. Yeah. Like most people are like, oh, how did you even know how to get into IM? Well, the only reason why I knew how is because my dad is a PAM engineer. So he was like, I think you should go into IM. It's a little bit easier, more chill. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it's kind of the same shit that I'm doing basically anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, okay, let me look into that. And I got into it like that. I don't know how I found my, found my niche before. Like, I, I guess the only thing you really could do mm -hmm. is do your own research and figure out what you like and what you don't like. Kind of a trial and error type of yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, but that's the best way. Y'all really have to figure out what you like and don't like. And then like these tools that we're giving you or talking about, re if you wanted to get into IM per for, for example, right? Research these tools first, see what you like and you don't like about these tools. See what other people are talking about that's talking about CyberArk on YouTube or SailPoint or Octor or Beyond Trust, Savient, Azure, all of these different tools. You know what I mean? Y'all search up those tools. Um, and see what you like and you don't like. See which one is the easiest. See which one maybe, I don't know if you guys care about pay. I know a lot of people, that's a big factor. See how much they're paying. Um, everything just comes down to you and how much yeah. research you do and what certification you get. So if you know you want to mm -hmm. get an IM, you know you need to get a vendor specific cert. See what vendor has a lot of job postings. See which one is paying well with those job postings and kind of figure mm -hmm. out, you know, do process of elimination from then on there and yeah. just figure it out from there. Um, and I think the final thing, um, as far as something I'd do different, is I would study a lot more for those interviews when you yeah, do land them. Definitely. That's like one thing that, especially in our program, that uh, me and Kyle have seen. Um, a lot of people, I guess it's not, not like common knowledge that you, like, it's, you're supposed to study for these interviews. You're not, you don't, you're not supposed to expect not enough. You don't, you shouldn't expect from yourself or they shouldn't expect from you to know every little thing about their company, for example, or the tasks that you'll be doing or what within tools, that role. How these tools work. These yeah. tools, y'all, they get changed up every day, mm -hmm. updated all the time. You, you don't be like, oh, I don't know everything about this specific tool or this role, so I'm just not going to apply. You want to keep applying regardless. It doesn't matter if you know a lot yeah. or not. These tools are going to constantly change and grow. I, I know senior engineers that have been with these tools for 10 plus years and they still don't know everything. Not to mm -hmm. say that they don't know a lot, which they obviously do, but they don't know everything. You don't need to come in there as fucking Einstein and just know everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just know the basics and everything at the end of the day, like I always say, and I've been saying this for a while, if you guys catch my lives, is rep everything at the end of the day is repetition. It's all yeah. repetition. The more and more you keep doing it, you keep doing it, you'll get better at it gradually over time. Yep. So if you just keep interviewing, keep interviewing, you might get destroyed in the first <laughs> five, maybe first 20 interviews. But yeah. At least you're getting yeah. the repetitions and, and you're learning. Yeah. Um, and study before these interviews, like sit down and study, like look at what the job description says and go over each one of those bullet points, go on a uh, glass door, some free sauce for you guys, go on glass door, see what other questions have been asked in that type of pos position. Mm -hmm. If it's a bigger company, there's other people that talk about how their interview went and they'll put the types of questions they asked. Exactly. So, so like, just like do, do research on, on these roles and then so you can execute well during these interviews so that you can land that role as well. For those, that, for those of you that are already in the process of trying to land a role at least. Everybody else, 
uh, I guess, focus more on, on the certs and, and, you know, building that foundation first. Exactly. But I think that's that's what I had as far as like what I would do differently. I was to say that's pretty much what I would do is study more. So we do a little bit of a recap. So obviously getting important certifications. Now, that doesn't mean just go out and just get an every damn certification you can find. Get yeah. important certifications um, and try to study more. Cut out all distractions. I say take out like if I mean, if you guys can, if you don't have a whatever, just take out a time. It doesn't matter who you are, really. Um, take out a time, find some time and just try to study. Do your research. Find out what you like and what you don't like. There's so many different sectors in security you guys can move into. It doesn't have to be what he does, red teaming side, blue teaming side, or whatever. Whatever you find that's interesting to you that you like, most of these roles are going to pay you over six figures starting out. You know what I mean? Um, so figure out what you like and then go from there. You know what I mean? So we can, we can only help you um, so much. You kind of have to do the research for yourself. But like I said, definitely... Getting certifications, studying more, uh, making sure you're properly prepared for the interview. Uh, obviously, resume is another uh, big thing. Make sure your resume is, you know, laid out properly how it's supposed to be. Um, we got some good templates. We have some as well. great resume some good uh, templates. templates as well. That's part of the WAP community. Yeah. Um, as well, and ever since we started those, a lot of more clients have been getting jobs as well. Since we've started to do our resume AI, that's also part of the WAP as well as well yep. um, but we have a lot of good things that um, a lot of y'all can benefit from in the WAP or in our actual mentorship um, as well um, and you guys so let us know what you want to you know what you want to see in the next video yeah um, please comment down below yeah. um, video, any video ideas that you guys want to see or learn more I'm trying to think I think a good one would be uh, no the next one we could tell them now the next one that we're going to do is all of our a lot of our we're going to choose five of our mentees um, maybe three, because I, I don't know if that'll be too many. Oh, okay, yeah. Maybe I, like I think that. we'll start with three first. Uh, we're going to do three of our mentees recently that have got a job within the last month. Uh, we're going to have them come on and do a video with us and talk about their experience. So you guys can see these people coming from no IT background and now making over 100K a year just, you know, off our help, helping us helping them get certifications, doing a resume, all of that. Yeah. Um, so y'all definitely... Um, stay tuned for that video. That'll probably be a video we'll have next yep. week. We'll have a different video this week. Uh, one more coming out on Thanksgiving or a day after Thanksgiving. And then we also got to have a video of, uh, we'll do, and let me know what you guys think in the comment or in the comments. Um, so our men, we had a mentee that landed a, a role that was paying 145 grand a year, uh, base pay. That was base salary. So it's not even including like the bonuses or, or stocks he could receive. Mm. But, um, what do you guys think of a video about building out your resume for one of these roles and then me showcasing that resume, obviously, with all the personal details, like blanked out and stuff? Yeah. And then I'll give you guys a template for you, you know, for free and whatnot. You guys let me know. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Totally free. We wouldn't charge for that. So y'all let us know if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, um, we appreciate y'all for listening to us. Yeah. For however long we were. I don't even know how long this video was. Um, but like I said, if anybody that's interested in joining the mentorship, the WAP, um, or whatever, the links are down below to the WAP. Everything is through the WAP now, so there's no external like website link you guys have to pay for. Everything yep. is through the WAP. So the Cyber Warrior gives you access to our Black Friday sale, which was $1,200 from giving away three certifications. Um, and you get everything else that is included in the cyber war, like the unlimited resumes, um, interview prep, uh, everything, job placement, all of that is included in that $1,200 price with the cyber warrior. And then the WAP $50 is included. $50 a month. You guys get, uh, everything except the certification training pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. And the one-on-one -on -one calls, I guess. Yeah. And that's it. So yeah. Just, yeah. So you get a lot of stuff. Um, for that as well. Yep, you guys still get all the information that all the other uh, members have. So also, um, last but not least, we are we are always live Monday through Thursday at eight fifteen p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys want to catch us live and ask some questions, get some questions answered that you guys have or have any questions even about this video, um, it'll if we are live at the time you're watching this video, then you just click on the little live animation button you guys can go in there and chat with us so each day monday through thursday at 8 15 p.m eastern standard time we are always alive um, appreciate y'all for like i said listen to us yap hope y'all enjoyed the video please make sure you like comment subscribe down below um, and we'll catch y'all in the next video